Okay, a very quick history lesson for you. On the 5th of February, 1958, Manchester United played a team called Red Star Belgrade in what was then Yugoslavia. They drew the game 3-0. They'd already won the first leg here at Old Trafford 2-1 and United were in the semi-final in what in those days was known as the European Cup. We all know it better these days as the Champions League. Flying back from Belgrade the following day, the 6th of February, the plane carrying the players, staff and newspaper reporters had to stop to refuel in a place in Germany called Munich. When they got there, weather conditions were appalling. It had been snowing, there was snow, ice and slush all over the runway. The plane had already made two attempts to take off during the morning and failed in both and the players and staff thought they were going to stay overnight and fly back the following day. For whatever reason, just after three o'clock in the afternoon, a third attempt was made to take off. On the third attempt, the plane went down the runway, never left the ground and hit a building at the end before bursting into flames and breaking up. 44 people on the aeroplane, 23 died 21 survived, but of the 23 that died, 8 were Manchester United football players, 3 were Manchester United staff. The plaque on the wall at the end of East Stand names the 8 players and staff that were killed in that tragedy of Munich. The flowers are changed every week, and the picture underneath is the lineup of the team for that last game against Red Star. Okay. The clock up here, affectionately known as the Munich clock, was purchased from donations by the people left here. So gate okay, staff, ground staff, reserve team, youth team, everybody come together to purchase the Munich clock. People think that the clock always shows the time as four minutes past three. But if you can all see, it does actually show the correct time. In 2008, the 50th anniversary of Munich, United decided to open a permanent memorial to those players and staff that have died. To rename the tunnel behind me, the Munich Tunnel. It had originally been called the South Stand Tunnel. And if you will all follow me down the Munich Tunnel now, I'll tell you a little bit more history of Manchester United. Okay, as I said, 2008 was the 50th anniversary of the Munich crash. And on the 6th of February that year, David Gill, the United Chief Executive, along with Roger Byrne Jr. Now he was the son of our club captain, Roger Byrne. That's him over there. One of those eight players that were killed in Munich came to light the eternal flame. The tragedy of his dad, though, Roger Byrne Sr., if he'd actually come back from Munich, his wife would have informed him she was expecting their first child. Roger died and he never knew. When the baby was born, so eight and a half months later, a bouncing baby boy, his wife decided she would name him after a late husband. So it was fitting that Roger Byrne Jr, along with David Gill, and five other surviving members from the plane crash came here to light the eternal flame in memory of those players and staff who had been killed at Munich. And as long as there's a football stadium here, this will stay lit in their memory. Thank <laughs> you.